What's up all you lads and ladies? Welcome to another fascinating video in the world of comedy and reddit. If you liked the video, post your favorite reddit comment below, and I'll give you a shout out in my next video. Thanks to Lady Riri in my last video who subscribed to my channel. Yay. Hope you enjoy this video about aliens discovering fiction. Only on reddit, am I right? Aliens have just discovered earth, but have never discovered fiction. As such they think every book and live action movie is real what book character slash movie actor do they fear the most and why? I'm surprised no one mentioned Q from Star Trek yet. His species are omnipotent beings. Dr. Manhattan is another one they should fear too. Dr. Manhattan is basically God. So, should win here. I mean we have plenty of options for literal gods instead. There's an omorph from Alien. Imagine coming across an alien species that has video of another horrifying extraterrestrial that you haven't encountered yet nor do you want a freaking encounter. Pretty much any movie. Book about alien invasions now. The idea that all these alien civilizations invaded Earth and the aliens that found us wouldn't have heard about them would imply that we wiped out the entire species from history. And Ender's game suggests that our children are capable of this. Imagine what the adults are capable of. Aliens believing Ender's game is real would send every single species of them packing back to Frickoffsville or wherever they are from. Independence Day or Godzilla Earth like that would cause problems for an invasion. Well those aliens had it coming. Whatever happened to we come in peace? I dunno. Pacific Rim would death send anyone away. We got giant robots that fight giant monsters. Come at us. The characters of Galaxy Quest. Since you know that's what that movie was about. Never give up. Never surrender. By Grabthus Hammer. I will avenge you. By Grabthus Hammer. Um. What a savings. Second best Star Trek movie. The historical documents tell of your great adventures and heroics. They're not all historical documents. Surely, you don't think Gilligan's Island is a... Those pool people. Prolik Thulhukas who wouldn't be scared if that it was real. Thanglum Gilnaf Kthulhualiwaganaglfitan. The Ancient One slumbers here. Stay away from Earth. I a. I a. Kthulhufthan. Hey, one question. If I want to know more about Kthulhu, where should I start? Definitely with Call of Cthulhu by H.P. Lovecraft. He created the Cthulhu Mythos. Also read the shadow over in Smith it's part of the Mythos. And Cthulhu is indirectly involved. However, most of his short stories have references to Cthulhu. That's why they call it the Cthulhu Mythos. He wrote a couple dozen stories that all intersect in some small way to create an entire terrifying universe. The Call of Cthulhu. Some of Lovecraft's work is straight pulp. Some is actually really good. Very few of his stories are about Cthulhu specifically. Other good ones, not about Cthulhu, include The Music of Eric Zan, Cellarface, The Outsider, The Shadow Over Innsmouth, The Shadow Out of Time, The Haunter of the Dark, At the Mountains of Madness, The Whisperer in Darkness, The Dunwich Horror, Dagon. Will Smith. One minute he's welcoming aliens to Earth as an intergalactic customs officer. The next he's planting a bomb on their mothership. He's also an invulnerable superhuman who can fly. And a cyborg detective who really hates robots. And heights. And space cowboy extraordinaire. And a kid from West Philadelphia. Born and raised, in the playground is where he spent most of his days. And a vampire hunter. I am legend. Doom guy or Master Chief. To them, it's a biography. Heck, I'm scared of Doom guy and I actually know he isn't real. What makes you so sure? Heavy metal intensifies. Original Doom games take place in 2022 so you never know. With the way 2020 is going it's entirely plausible. Literally any freaking Kirby character. The big ones here are Dark Matter, Galactonite, Gooey, and Kirby himself. Finally, someone who knows what they're talking about. 
Kirby lore is just cute and ought to not be considered a Lovecraftian horror. I mean, his main ability is vor. Wait, this freaking pink dude can outrun black holes? How the hell are you earthlings still alive? Ben 10. Just imagine them realizing there might be an imposter among them. I remember this one episode where he snuck as this one alien to Earth a month after he was banned from coming back. Also, Alien X would send those alien visitors to oblivion. If Alien X wasn't busy staring into space as his two cosmic minds argue over whether Alien X should move his foot or not, those two cosmic faces should back the freak up and let Alien X do his job. Didn't Ben get full control over it on one episode? Yes, I believe so. One Punch Man. An alien traveled across the galaxy for 20 years, invaded Earth, and leashed his power that could decimate a planet and takes on what the previous 9 episodes show to be an invulnerable being capable of annihilating matter with a single punch. During this final fight, Saitama gets hit hard enough and travels so fast that he escapes Earth gravity and impacts the moon. His response is to jump back to Earth, causing a crater to appear beneath his feet with how much force he just exerted in one. Sixth Earth gravity. He passes through the atmosphere unscathed, lands on the invader's ship and destroys it, and then follows that up by punching the guy so hard that he blows up the rest of the ship destroys this legendary being and the energy exerted from the punch literally pushes away the planet's atmosphere for half the circumference of the planet. The defeated being retells his story of finding the strongest being ever in that he was successful when he found Satama. He also says that he knows Satama didn't even try before he dies. They are not landing. Spot on. Love the exaggeration of that fight as to parody other anime, especially DBZ, and the ease that Satama wins. Awesome animation, music, sound effects. I mean, I doubt he'd fight them if they didn't hurt anyone. He might if they make him miss a sale at his favorite grocery store. Tammy Swanson. There's not even a close second. Every time she laughs, an angel dies. Tammy 2? I feel like Tammy 2 is someone who can see reason. Tammy 1 is psychotic. Tammy 2 understands fear, I think. The only thing that ever actually freaked her out or had her not acting like her ex-craze maniac was when Tammy 1 showed up. Tammy 1 or Tammy 2? Gonna go out on a limb and say the cat in the hat. They think the book is like a children's tale of warning based on the very real phenomenon of a giant anthropomorphic cat and his two hellish gremlins showing up on your doorstep to freak up your day every now and then. Underrated comment. This is gold. Darth Vader. He travels space with sword that can cut anything and chokes you from a moon-sized ship that destroys planets. I'd say Palpatine is scarier. A man who cheated death and can shoot lightning from his fingers. And someone who executed a space holocaust is definitely someone to fear. By that line of thought and considering canon and legends, I will say. Darth Nihilus would be scarier. Or even worse. Jar Jar Binks. If it wasn't for Jar Jar, Palpatine's space holocaust wouldn't have happened. Jar Jar gave him emergency powers. Jar Jar is the key to all of this. Unlimited POWAA. The Terminator. Because you know, um, Arnie. And he's the Terminator. From a warrior barbarian of ancient times to the governor of a city. This man can fight and politics. He is too powerful. I was thinking more predator. Those bastards are out there and the aliens won't know who they'll go for next. Winchester brothers. They literally refuse to die. False. They die a lot. They refuse to stay dead. Like Kratos. Satama, One Punch Man. Because all it takes is one punch and he obliterates anyone and anything. Damn it you beat me. That would be the doctor. They'd be like, how do we not know this guy? Because there have never been in contemporary in London. We can go anywhere in any time in the universe. But it will probably be London during the Blitz. 
Even the Daleks are scared itless of the Doctor, and they're not even supposed to have emotions. They're supposed to hate. Captain Kirk. He will kick your ass and shag your women. What if I want him to shag my ass and kick my women? Same thing. He is very versatile like that. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell like it owes you money. Remember to post your favorite comment from the video in the comment section below for a chance to be featured in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this fantastic video and I hope you are all staying safe. Show a small channel some love by liking and subscribing. Take care. Pip Pip Cheerio. Much love from me, Matt British.